Well, people who barely get sick from COVID are, of course, the lucky ones. At the other end of the spectrum are those who get infected and they just don't get better for months. They are called long haulers. And Kayla Schmidt sat down with a Harrisburg woman who unfortunately is in that category. Kayla. That's right. Elizabeth Hall tells me she hasn't picked up a cigarette in over 40 years since she's recovered from COVID. She's had to use an inhaler four times a day. And as you're about to see, that's just for starters. 64 year old Elizabeth Hall starts her day like this. But it hasn't always been this way. When did you uh, first get diagnosed with COVID-19? In March of 2020. Hall had all of the common COVID symptoms, but she says doctors didn't want to test her. She wasn't exposed. I had not gone on a cruise or good friends with people who have been on cruises. They didn't want to test me because they said, oh, I couldn't possibly be sick with it. Hall picked up the phone and called the state health department. A nurse suited up in PPE arrived at her door to test her. 48 hours, I got my results back. And what were they? positive. She recovered, but she it hasn't really come close to, to feeling normal yeah, again. So Paul deals with fatigue, migraines, coughing. breathing problems that led to asthma and, and bags of away. medication. Mm -hmm. And this is all post COVID, all post COVID, all post COVID. A lot of patients complain of sort of a, like a brain fog or cognitive deficits and um, sometimes a lot of fatigue and those kind of things as well. UPMC Dr. Taj Rahman says Hall is far from the only long hauler. Uh, definitely headache is possible, numbness is possible, um, uh, sort of tingling or uh, those kind of uh, neurologic symptoms uh, we've seen also in our practice. And for people like Hall who continue to struggle, the biggest question is this. Now, when we talk about long haul, does this mean forever? Uh, a very excellent question, and um, I don't know necessarily if uh, we have a full answer for that. Uh, we've sort of medically known about this virus for uh, only two years now. Dr. Rahman says in his patients, he is seeing recovery from long COVID symptoms anywhere from four to eight months. But as we've seen with Elizabeth Hall, it can be much longer. For her part, she says, listen to your body, get tested if you think you might have COVID. And of course, don't give up. In the studio, Kayla Schmidt, ABC 27 News.